Hello everyone, and welcome to Ultimate Fanfiction, so we are back with an interesting series on what if Naruto had the legacy of Taken King. But before we start, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoy my content. Let's start the story. Space. Rings of the Saturn, Dreadnought as sounds of gunfire as filled a large room in an extremely giant ship flowing in space, a group of six people as they shooting toward at the chest of what it seemed to be a titan size being with huge bat-like wings with wide head with three purple eyes, as group keep shooting it as one of them said with a mechanized voice, keep firing everyone. He's almost down, as he and other had to change a round of empty shells with other until finally all of them unleash some kind of special abilities that allows them to fire barrages of certain elements of solar, arc and void. Which there take forms of hammers, arrows or a steam of lighting toward the titan who named is, with our light we will end of your reign, Oryx, yelled a huge bulky man whose cover in fire as he throws a hammer of fire toward Oryx along a girl who fires a purple energy arrows and a steam of lighting other next to her. Upon impact a burst of light out of Oryx known as the Taken King's chest and he was defected once again by the light of the ones that had killed his son, and they are called guardians as they lower their weapons as they see the dark god slowly drifting away into spaces as pieces of him begin falling off. As the guardians start celebrating, Oryx on his final moments as he watching the warriors of light that had beaten him, while they enjoying the victory as he begin speak his final words, yet again their guardians and their light had defect me in battle. I underestimate them in strength of the light they hold. Said the dying king as life begin leaving his all three his eyes. Earth, the last city at the center of the last home off humanity as well a giant and broken white sphere flowing above the city and could be seen though out the whole city by the people that live there, as the people in the city doing the everyday lives. The sphere known as the traveler had a fade glow of light around it and only to vanish away as it appeared. No one was ever the wiser even the one who speaks for the traveler. But the main question why did it glow and for what purpose? But the answer to it doesn't relay in this world as it belongs somewhere else. Unknown location, Limbo Oryx opens his eyes and found himself in a place that's completely empty with no walls, no sky, not even light or darkness, then he realized that he's in Limbo a realm that's between life and dead, now the Taken King is wondering if this is the place that he would face judgment? He's not sure about it as he begin to speak only to himself. Am I going face judgment for what I have done? said Oryx as he thinking of what going to happen to him but then, Oryx, the Taken King or maybe I call you by a different name perhaps? Will the name Naruto will do? said a bodiless voice that appeared which Oryx or rather Naruto makes enrage greatly, how do you know that name, the name I used to be called from other life? said the angered Oryx as he looking around to found the source of the voice. The answer is simple if one would say I could and see many kind of teethings, just looking though of what remains of your light, after all I'm the one who created my warriors of light to fight and defend against my oldest of enemies, the darkness, I know by many names but you know me as the traveler, said the voice of the traveler as Oryx thinking of what the bodiless voice of the traveler meant by, his light, as he talked to, it, what do you mean my light? I had given that up many eons ago when I embraced the darkness, and why don't you show yourself maker of light, so I can my vengeance upon you for what your guardians had done. Killing my son Crota, said the taker of wills as he wants face and kill the traveler. But however, I know what my guardians had done, but your role as Oryx the Taken King is over, Naruto, said the voice of the traveler as Oryx become more angry as he starts firing bolts of blight everywhere around. Don't you dare call me by that name, it holds nothing but memories of theirs. WHO had betrayed me because I was nothing more than annoyance yelled Oryx as he recalls memories of his past life as he keep on firing to land a hit onto the traveler even though it's just the voice. Try as much as you like, Naruto, but I'm just a voice because this is all I can do since I'm still recovering my strength, and though your light is the reason why and why you have turned out this way, I know for fact not everyone could hold on to memories of previous life, I guess being killed by there you had once called your comrades, can forge such hatred toward the light and everything, said the traveler as Oryx's or Naruto's last memory when he was alive start playing in his mind. As he begin to remember on that day when his so-called team on their first mission to protect a bridge builder. On that same mission when they at the bridge still being builded by its bridge builder whose name he has long forgotten while the area was covering in thick mist, which it was cast by emeries that were hired by a short yet greed-filled man. The former king remembers how the battle went and how his past self arriving late at the battle like a hero would and help out his so-called teammate while wearing bright orange jumpsuit, 
he laughs of how much of a naive he was in that life. Then later on the battle and Oryx's past self had and teammate were attacked by needle-like projectiles from the person who was wearing a mask and then just right before the masked person about to other barrage of needles but only ten times more than before. And that's when it happened, on that very moment his so-called teammate, rival had used him as a human shield so he could protect himself so he could life on in order to he achieve his ambition of killing his order brother who had killed all of his clansmen. As he stops from that as the former king calming himself down as well stops firing bolts of his blight, what could possibly you want with me? Is it become one of so-called warriors of lights, a guardian and to fight against the darkness in your name? Said Oryx as he wonders what the traveler is planning to do, and he gets his answer when he heard him spec, in way yes but not in this world rather the world that your past self lived in, though the memories that you still have in the darkest parts of your heart. I sense it holds so much hatred and evil but there's still a spark of light that used to be so radiant like a sun, said the voice of the traveler. Or see understands of what going to happen. What I getting at is that you want me bring back the light to my old home. What a load of bull, why should I let myself become one there who are responsible for my son's death? Give me one good reason why should I become your guardian, said or see as he begin angry once again. Then he hears an answer that he did not expect because somewhere underneath your very dark heart, you still carry a few small pieces of hope, vengeance and love, it's their pieces is why I'm here, to give you a chance so you can regain of what was taken from you, the chance of achieving your dream, and be with the person who has always loved you, said the traveler as an image of a girl with Heim style ink blue hair with peel white eyes come into Orsi's mind. How long has it been since I save her from their older kids that were picking on her because she was different? It's a funny thing. Upon my last dying breath I had a flash of what I have done in that life and notice how she acts toward me every time I talk to her, how red her blushes get or how nervous she was, I was such a fool thinking that she was sick or something when in truth she was too shy to talk to me all because her feels has for me, I wonder what will she think of me now, said Erksi as he looks at his three fingered hands then tied it into a fist. Naruto. Will you take the chance that I'm giving you is not only a second chance of life but it's also an redemption to yourself and the light, I will create it a special ghost that allows you not only bring you back in your old body, it will give you want you need and more, and one final thing you wouldn't be like the other guardians you had face, no you will be the first of a new kind of guardians, your class shall be called shinobi and what you can do. You have to discover abilities yourself, now then tell me Naruto former enemy of my guardians, will you accept the deal? said the voice of the traveler as it waits the answer from orcs no naruto then out of nowhere he begin to laugh as cracks appearing on his body like a cocoon and pieces of it falling off of him as he specks after he finished laughing but to do that i have to exchange my power right very well i don't need it anymore as you said my role as or see is over and or see the taken king is dead and gone for good i should my old self said Naruto as his voice changed while the body come off like a shake shirt its old skin and now he's nothing but small white sphere with bits of black to the mix. Specking like a true guardian Naruto, but I never mention about you forfeiting your power, because you will need them at your disposal, you will be a guardian that wields both light and darkness. Said the traveler as it knows that Naruto is the most powerful guardian and Naruto speaks. Well then that change everything doesn't it? Anyway how you are going to send me back? since it's has been more than thousands of years since I had died? Then he a small laugh from the voice of the traveler as if he had told a joke or something, forgive me for laughing for no reason, it seemed like that for us but however in your old home, time moves much slower and it's only been four months since your death, how very odd. And as for how I'm sending you there, the answer of it is a complicated one, what most don't know that ghosts able to revive the dead by using the light lay dormant within the body and created a link to the soul and once that is done, the ghost can revive them from the dead no matter where they are, and would go any distance or how much time had passed, the traveler stops talking for a sec as it begin feeling weaker which means it doesn't much time left before its strength fades away and return to slumber. It's seen I don't have much time as my time is growing shorter by the second. I have to use what I have lift to created your special ghost and send you back to your world before it's too late, said the traveler as the whole empty space with a bright light then out of nowhere a small orb like eye color of red with a shell of white up and down and right and life or black with gray stripes and it looked toward the white and black sphere of Naruto as it speak at first words. Greeting guardian, I'm your personal companion, guided and many more, normally my name should be, ghost, 
but I'm quite different from my brothers and sisters, because what I can do, for one I can forward anything into weapons of light, gain knowledge and informant without accessing devices and finally I can also take you between worlds, so guardian will you call me? said the new companion of Naruto as Naruto thinks about it after hearing of what it can do. After thinking about it and found a suitable name, all right how about Spectre then? said Naruto as Spectre looks Naruto then nods because he likes the name, very well guardian. I shall be called Spectre, said Spectre as traveler specs for small amount of time before returning to sleep. Naruto, Spectre before I return to slumber, I have only words, I wish both of you do well on your mission and have each other's as back and then maybe in the distant future we will meet again, said the traveler as it now feels very weak as time is up. Now I must go. Be careful and always remember this, never lose hope in the light Naruto. As the traveler's voice fades away leaving only Nordo and Spectre as Spectre looks at Naruto. The traveler returned to its sleep and someday it will gain back its full strength and fight once again but until that time comes, everyone must plush back the darkness but however we have our own battles to fight, now then let's get you back to your body guardian, said Spectre as Naruto sighs out. Okay first off don't call me, guardian, as it not my name, it's Naruto get it memorized little light said naruto as he giving specter a nickname which he obviously disliked being called by that don't call me that and it's time to head out said specter as it begin to glow bright as the shell flows off of him then a great deal of light filled up the room scene chance beach side of land of wave 90 miles away somewhere on the nation islands of land of waves nearing night time and the location of it is very far for any village to be near on the sand of the beach area of the islands there lays a body of a boy that's seen around the age of 12 near becoming 13 with blonde hair and he's wearing a very torn up orange jumpsuit with holes on it as the body is laying on his face while covering in seaweed and what's more the skin is somewhat blue-gray turn but even though he's dead the body doesn't seem decaying, most because the boy is dead and has been so for months and who is this boy? Well it's no other than Naruto Uzumke who was killed by his teammate. Then as the stars begin bright up the night sky, and star fly across the sky and many would think it was a shooting star but however it was not a such a thing, it was Spectre who appeared in the ninja world from crossing though a dimensional gateway from other world. Then seeing where he is, he begin to scan everything around him, now then where are you? We appeared upon this spot. As he looks around while moving around, it should means your body should be around here somewhere haha ha, there you are said Spectre as he found the body of Naruto Uzumke and moves toward it and takes a good look at it. How is this even possible? This body should be losing way more weight than a little, as he did a quick scan on the body in to understand but worries about it later. No matter I figure it out later, now let's get you back in there, it see your body can still accept your soul even though it's what thousands years old, said Spectre as a blue light appears and makes the parts flow off of him from his center. Then begin the process of turning the body of Naruto Uzumaki into a warrior of light by giving it life as the skin tone started have a healthy color as Naruto's hands started to move for the first time for months then in a flash of light. Third person. Naruto first I see nothing white then my sight begin adjusting itself and first the thing I see were my hands. My human hands. Five on each one then I move my head up a bit and see Spectre flowing in front of me then I look around my surrounded the area and recall my memories of where I was which at a bridge that wasn't complete then I hear Spectre talking. Welcome back to the landing of the living Guara Hem I mean Naruto and I know what you're wonder where we are and answer the question. It's seen we on the beach side of the land of waves and no sign of life forms around well human life forms that is, said Spectre as I try moving around. But however I fall flat on my face as I had forgotten of how to walk, well you can blame me. I used to have wings to move around, well that was a rough start, that's what I get moving around for countless years by using wings then my legs, sigh looks like I have relearned to walk, said me and I notice that my voice sound a bit more mature than it was before. Then I try get back on my feet and it wasn't so bad as first as I start walking on my legs at a slow pace so I won't fall on my face again, after getting used it. I walk over to the water but easy and slow just to be sure, why I'm doing that? Because it's been a very long time since I last saw this face, my old human face. And looking upon the reflection of the water, I notice I lost a good amount of baby fat around my face and I kindly forget that I had whisper like marks on my cheeks and my blue eyes, I forget how blue they were then I hear specter spec such more. Now that you done with whatever you are doing, 
should we get down to business which we start off by getting you some new threads cause I can't stand of now bright the orange is. Whatever make you wear it is beyond me. Said Spectre as he going on about my old jumpsuit and I have to say, what was I thinking when I first wearing this thing? But however getting new clothes will have to wait because their other things need to be done first. Third person ended Naruto sits down with Spectre flows around Naruto's head, before getting new clothes, I want you found a pathway that leads to nearby village and from there we get intel of what happened after my death. Said Naruto as he sees Spectre nods as he starts looking around as Naruto looks at his hand then the rest of his body and wonders how his body stay like this for months after his death. Then he remembers something. That's right I'm holding the Kyubi he must have been preserving my body while I was gone as well keeping my body from decaying with his chakra. I might have to thank him one day. Said the thoughts of Naruto as he heard Spectre calling him out that he found a route that leads to a forest then a village. Seeing it as Naruto thank him for doing a good job finding it while Spectre disappears into bits of light as before Naruto walked down the path, he noticed something that's not on his forehead, which it was his forehead protector. Oh no! The headband Aruka sensei give me! Said Naruto as he remembers his old sensei back then he hears Spectre though his head. So that what's it called? Here I found it near you when you know we're still dead, said Spectre as a headband with a metal plate that has a symbol of a leaf and grave appeared from bits of light and lands on Naruto's hand. That's good thanks Spectre but hold on it for now, said Naruto as the headband disappeared in the same that appeared. Then finally Naruto starts walking down the path while thinking what will lies ahead in this road of renew life as the former taken king will take the ninja by storm and show everyone that Naruto Uzumke is back from dead and stronger than ever and takes revenge on their who betrayed him. Forest area of land of waves on the pathway lands to a village. We found Naruto and his flowing companion who's looking around since he's getting all kinds of reading which he doesn't yet understand. Naruto I'm getting reads of unknown energy around us and I don't what it is, said Spectre as he tries to understand the readings that he's receiving as Naruto laughs a little. That must be chakra that your radar picking up. I guess I could give you a lesson about chakra, said Naruto as he tells Spectre of his knowledge of chakra even though he wasn't the best student in his youth even though he's 12 again but his soul isn't. I see. So chakra is both physical and spiritual energy which allows there from this world to control the elements to stat that of gods through varieties of hand signs to preform justice. Fascinating if the other guardians could do such things we have gained back everything and plus back the darkness to the point of no return then starting the second golden age. Said Spectre as he could imagine it. Naruto said. That would be true but I'm afraid that wouldn't be possible since only the people that are birthed here can get access chakra said Naruto as he removes his torn orange jacket because he couldn't stand it any longer and threw it on the ground, well one could dream right? I have other question that involves with chakra, how did the people here gain such power anyway? I mean it must have some kind of origin of how everyone in this world could use chakra, said Spectre as he brought up a very good question for Naruto to think about. You know what Spectre, you're onto something there, I never really thought of it before but we get back on that topic for other time. For now you go on ahead and see what's ahead. Said Naruto as Spectre nods as it's safe for him to scout around. Understand and what about you? Said Spectre as Naruto reply. Well there's something I wanted to see if it still works or not after all this body of mine has been dead about 4 months after all. Said Naruto as he tries to remember of a certain hand sign. Very well, I go on ahead then report back. Said Spectre as he goes ahead of Naruto as he trying found the right hand sign while walking. What was it again? Damn, their memories are foggy. I should know this hand sign. It was high ranking justice. That allows me to form solid copies of myself. Said Naruto as he hitting his forehead as he trying make their fogged memory clear up, as he doing that he hasn't noticed that he had walk away from the pathway which he end up going to a cliff and before he could fall off. Spectre had returned and stops Naruto. Naruto. Which Naruto snaps out of what he's doing and stops himself with his feet hanging on the side, damn. That was close. I know that you could resurrect me and all that but I rather not since it still would hurt. Said Naruto as he moved back then he noticed the view and see a village as well a very large yet familiar bridge. Wait I know that bridge. That was where I killed and. As he slowly releasing a wave of blight around his body. Where their backstabbers use me as a shield. Said the angry as his eyes are turning green, purple. Spectre needs to do something to clam him down as he looks around and see two graves that ain't far from them and a few things on them graves such as a huge sword. 
Naruto. Naruto gets snaps out of it by Spectre calling him out and the blight fades away. Whose graves do they belong to? And why is there a big sword on one of them? said Spectre as he goes to it with Naruto following behind. Upon arriving the grave site as well the sword that's cover in bit of rust, something trigged in Naruto's mind and he begin blank out. Naruto's memory starts a tall and noticeably muscular man with pale skin, short spiky black hair, brown eyes, and small eyebrows wearing bandages like a mask over the bottom half of his face and has his headband sideways on his head, the man spoke as he holding a huge sword while standing on water. When I was your age, my hands were already soaked in blood, but wasn't the only one as more memories of the man appeared along with certain words that the man had said before. They keep going until the finally the final memory that's bit hazy. When you've hovered between life and death so many times that it doesn't phase you, you may be called a ninja. When you've become so deadly that your profile has been entered into my bingo book, then you may have earned the title ninja, said the man. Naruto. S memory ended Naruto get out of it as he remembers as he talks to himself while Spectre who was scanning the sword and hears Naruto. I know whose this sword belongs to. It was that rouge ninja that me and my so-called teens first encountered his name was Zabuza and he was a very strong guy. I guess he also died on that day as well, Naruto as he does a small prayer to show his respect. It's been long time Zabuza. Said Naruto as Spectre resume his scanning onto the sword. Naruto this sword here it's has a higher compatibility becoming a weapon of the light, I think we should take it with us if that is you're not planning take it since well it's part of this grave here, said Spectre as he noticed that Naruto is looking at the other grave and could tell whose it is. That one it's must be Hukaz, said Naruto as he looking at the flowers as he wonders just what happened on that day at the bridge, then the blonde guardian looked toward the sword and moves to it so he grab it but however he found it to be heavy beyond belief. How can this sword be that heavy? Em hold on let me scan it once more, Spectre scan it and found something, well that explains the materials used made this sword weight heavier than normal, I guess could store it until you are strong enough to use it, said Spectre as he digitized the sword into bits of light. Well then, I guess we head to town then but seeing that I'm dead to mostly everyone, I need a disguise so we don't draw out too much attention, Naruto as he thinking what he needs to hide himself and how so. Naruto let out a big sigh as he knows what he need to do as he looked toward the bridge then walks back to the pathway with Spectre following behind. Skip time. Outskirts of the village miles away from the village and by in the tree Naruto could view the village and the state they in. Four months ago the village of the wave was very gloomy and streets had very little of people. There was barely any food and both children and adults were starving to death, but now they much more better shape as kids running around in joy and laughter as the adults are smiling as they doing their jobs. This puts a smile on Naruto's face. A part of me is at ease, said Naruto as Spectre looks at him. What do you mean? Oh wait I forget for a moment there, you had died here so forget what I said, said Naruto's special ghost as it disappeared into bits of light as Naruto thinking, okay then what can I use to hide myself without anyone seeing my face, as he looking around until he noticed back of a house have clothes being hanged to dry and one of them happens to be a black coat with a hood. Naruto jumps down and moves in silence like that no one would hear him as he grabs it and quickly puts it on as the hood completely cover his face in the shadow, move around about in the wave village without anyone seeing his face, as the hooded Naruto walking around while thinking wondering what he's going to do. The first thing he heard from Spectre's suggestion that he should first gather intel of current situation all over but to do that they need a base, hideout to do that. Which requires a location that no one would ever second guess to look. Naruto ask around but he changed the tone of his voice like that no one would recognize his normal voice, about an hour later of asking and now eating a dango store, Naruto is sighting outside of the store while eating dango with a tea to drink with. I have always missed the taste of real food which is thousand better than their worms I always devour when I was my other self, said the thoughts of Naruto as he takes other bite of the dango. He hears Spectre in his head, okay then so far we haven't gone any much useful intel well except for one. Remember that old man say about a village that's surrounded by many whirlpools? Why not we head there and set up things there? Said Spectre as Naruto kindly disagrees about it. No it won't do since I'm very sure that I can't swim past their whirlpools of death. Wait can't you summon their small ships that the other guardians use? Said Naruto as he remembers sawing such ships that his now follow guardians use as Spectre say in Naruto's head. 
Yes I can but however that's impossible because isn't one I can summon unless I go to the tower in the other world and while I'm at it maybe I will grab other things you will need like guns mostly. Said the advanced version of the ghosts as Naruto takes his final eat of his dango. Make it so and I will meet you somewhere that no one in miles would able to see the ship maybe the nearest hill. Said Naruto as he used whatever money he had with him and place it on the chair then heads toward the exit of the village. Once they away from eyes of the village. Spectre appeared when there no one around and say to Naruto before he heads to the tower to get items they need. Naruto there's something I forget to mention. It see you have more than three abilities as well with your powers when you were once the taken king. With knowledge I have about the other guardians they only have three and there's something about the fourth one you have. For example I keep getting something green like energy that's flowing around you I'm receiving. Said Spectre as he knows that the traveler had told Naruto that but he didn't realize that it would something this. And Naruto is along with it since he knows they're only solar, void and arc along with his own powers, but he can't help but wonder what it is. That's new if you ask me, sure that big sphere did say I would have powers that my follow guardians won't have, along with my own, I wonder how it will works. I really need to test them out, said as he thinking what the element could be. Well anyway let's worry about that after you return Spectre said naruto as he see his flowing companion as he nods and heads toward the sky as he fires a beam which it creates a gateway to the other world scene change earth the last city the tower specter from out of the gateway and sees the tower with many guardians busy but specter had noticed something like flags with a bird-like symbol on them with colors of red blue green and white while the guardians are wearing that it seemed to be gear that isn't meant to be used in battle one wonder what's going on some kind of event Oh well not of my concern and on the plus side with everyone here occupied I could get what I need and get out of here before someone notice me, said Spectre in his mind as he moves toward the gunsmith stand who which runs by a very old looking exo vendor named Banshee 44 and Spectre hides from sight and waits for the chance to make his move. Who right now placing all kinds of weapon, like hand cannons, shotguns, machine guns, rocket launchers, you name it as Banshee placing a very interesting looking hand cannon with colors of bronze on top while the other half is black with a bit of gold and brown hander it's called the last word on the table but it's not the only one as he plays other one that looks very similar but the only difference were the colors of white and black and this one is called the first curse, the sister to fast word next to it. There, now to begin the test, said Banshee as the old exo as he plays a very interesting item, with a case that's wasp with seem to be cables, with this. The guardians will able to use two exotic weapons within the same slot without then getting destroyed by their light. Said Exo as Spectre as turn away because he's looking for something but can't seem to remember what it was but then he heard someone calling him out because he needs to sign some paper because his orders had arrived. So leaving his stand thus giving Spectre come out of hiding and quickly store up the weapons on the table. And the special item as well then quickly leaves before the old exo returns, since this is done with Spectre look for other things as well like for sure maybe a jump ship or something which he did when he see an unused ship in the hangar that seems to be made out of bones with muscle tissue holding it together and wonders why no one is using it so he quickly scan it and put it in storage then flows away to the sky before anyone could notice that a few things might be missing. Back with Naruto in the ninja world Naruto sighs heavy as he at the moment surrounded by ground of rough ninjas from different villages as well a few rough samurais along with a familiar leaf like symbol, and what's more Naruto has one who's dead under his feet as he ask himself a question, how did this even happen that get himself in this sensation? All he was doing was to head to the meeting point and that's all but however he get ambush out nowhere and takes down one of them by grabbing him by the neck and slams him down with uncontrollable brute force thus killing the guy in the process. So Naruto now shakes his head as he ranch down and grabs a single kanai from the tool pouch. Well it looks like I might be getting some practice after all. Let's see what my body could with its new obtained strength from my other self but I can't overdo it since it's not used it yet and besides I think I should test out this elemental power I receive, won't this be fun, said the former taken king as a stream of green energy while a gust of strong wind moves around Naruto as the kanai is getting covering in the green energy as well a exact replica appeared on his other hand as he grins lightly. As the rouge ninjas don't understand of what's going on and by the point they do, they will be died as Naruto who disappeared in a blur and within just a sec all of rough ninjas had their necks cut as with blood shoot out of the cuts that Naruto as he reappears as the green energy fades away as well the replica kanai as Naruto let out his breath. Man that was something, 
it was like I was one with the wind or something, might as well named it am I think that name will do but I will ask Spectre about it, said Naruto as he about to walk away but he stops since he need new equipment as he looks the dead bodies. Time skip a hour later at a hill point with no one around for miles as Spectre as they're waiting for Naruto to arrive and it's been barely 30 minutes he arrived back, what's taking him so long to get here? I did send him the right coordinates, say Spectre as it see a familiar hooded coat walking up the hill, about time getting here Naruto, what take you? said Spectre as Naruto say, sorry for taking long, I was getting some gear, as he removes the hooded coat and reveal his new clothes that replace his old one. Naruto is wearing black shirt underneath a black and gray flak vest, some black combat pants, and some black combat boots with gray laces with battle gloves that covers up his hold hands also has holders for kanais and their two pouches on his back, though Naruto feel like there's something is missing but he think about later as he hears. I see well make sure the clothes you were wearing before were in a bad shape but I have just one question, why do I see bits of blood? said Spectre as it wondering what was Naruto doing while he was gone. I will let you know later, now then, did you get what was required? said Naruto as he see his flowing companion nods as it makes two L shape appeared on the ground along with a cable which it confused Naruto as Spectre explains why then more weapons appeared and finally a ship for Naruto to use. Looking at the ship as he doesn't like the color that it has, I don't like the color since it make two bone like, but I will fix that later, Spectre turn it on and set coordinate to our destination said Naruto as he and Spectre disappeared into digital bits of light along with the weapons and appeared in the ship as it gets started up and hovering off the ground and fly toward the sky as it heads to the ruined village. Eight months later, at Konoha, random training grounds. Some in the village called Konoha in one of many training grounds. A certain pink haired is throw onto the ground and her arm is covering in spots like bruises which had only cost by a style of tide justice that belongs to a clan with the bloodline of the all-seeing eye. The Hyuga clan is the pink haired girl named Sakura look toward her foe which is a girl who's in the same age as her but only the difference is that the girl has long ink blue hair that ranch to her neck with few bangs covering her with the shadow covering her eyes and she wearing a dark lavender jacket with a long sleeve on the right while her left doesn't have a sleeve as the girl's left shoulder has bandage on it as she wearing dark blue pants. And what's more she still has her palm open as she still in strike stance then undo it as she fix her hair to move her bangs from her face as the shadow covering her eyes fades as it shows her white eyes which now it seem to be hardened because a year ago they wants to be soft but not anymore in her name. She is Hinata Hyuga and right now her team and team 7 are training together at the moment. Sakura tries to get up but can't cause she too hurt to move by Hinata's hits and why is that? Well let's just say that the pink haired girl insulted a certain a boy with blonde hair. And Hinata is about to move towards Sakura with angry in her eyes and not far from them. It's hard to believe that she used to be that nice and shy girl. Said a man with sliver hair that's defined gravity with a headband covering his left eye and wearing a mask to cover his mouth meaning you can only see his right eye as he wearing the standard outfit of a junin. He's as Kakashi Hitaki sensei to team 7 or what's left of it since they're only him and his two called students. And next to Kakashi is a woman with long black untamed hair reaching her upper back with red eyes and her has red lipstick and purple eye as she wearing a red mesh armor blouse with only the right sleeve visible with broad material which resembles bandages with a pattern on it similar to those of rose thorns. Her hands and upper thighs are also wrapped in bandages, she is Kurunai Yuhi and sensei to Hinata and the other members of team 8. Hinata catch the pink girl's fist and hit her with a fierce strike onto Sakura's stomach which cause her be in pain and falls onto her knees with Hinata standing above her. As Hinata waits for Sakura to get back on her feet to resume they, spearing, but couldn't wait anymore as she begin hitting the pink hair girl with palm strike towards Sakura's shoulder as she screams in pain as it now dislocation which shocks both senseis and Hinata is about to hit her again but Kakashi stops by grabbing her arm. That's enough. Sakura can't continue anymore. It's your win. Say Kakashi as Hinata does a quick glare toward Team 7's sensei, which it kindly scares him as Hinata makes him let go of her arm and walks away. Kurunai see Hinata walks by her as Team 8's a sensei see the girl who she used to be year ago, then fades away as Kakashi takes a look at Sakura's shoulder as he says to her, That's what you get for insult him in front of her. Said Kakashi as he hopes that his only girl student learns from this, but however, so, he's a nobody. I don't even understand why she cares about him in the first place. Said Sakura as she flinch at pain at her shoulder as Kakashi sighs about this. Go see a doctor for this Sakura, 
said Kakashi as see the pink hair girl nods as she slowly gets up on her feet and walks away toward the hospital. Once they are along both senseis begin talking. Sigh I don't know what to do with them. First they let their teammate died because they truly believe that they would be better off without him but they were wrong as it turn out they can't enter the chunin exam and because what they did. No one would join this team without fearing being stabbed at the back, I'm by far the worst sensei, had I known of what they were going to do on the day, I would have stopped the fight and stopped them. Said Kakashi as he gets a sad on him. Kakashi there nothing you could have done, you were exhausted to the point of passing out, and low on chakra and all that you couldn't have saved Naruto from death that his so-called teammates had him face. Said Kurenai then gets sad on her, and when you in your return and told of what happened. Many of they follow graduated classmates turn they back on them and as for Hinata. She got in a broken heart because she lost the only person who ever inspired her as well admired with all her heart, said Kurenai. Then a week later she had changed but not in a good way. Back then she wouldn't hurt a fly let alone nearly dislocating someone's shoulder. And a month ago her father Lord Hiyashi told me that Hinata had in fact brutally defected her little sister in a mock fight. In front of they clan elders and many of them begin to think that they the younger sister wasn't really stronger than Hinata in the first place and they reconsidering with Lord Hiyashi giving the title of heiress back to Hinata but he's not sure cause seeing what price it take make Hinata of what she is now. Said Kurenai as she remember of her talk with Hiyashi as Kakashi look up in the sky then take out his book that he always reads. Because of Naruto's death, the exams for this year for Konoha to host had been cancelled and been moved to this year instead said kakashi as he remembers how angry the third hokage was on that day when they returned and told him what happened to naruto and the punishment that he gave to sasuke and sakura was not pleasant cause the third had suspended the ninja license for seven months and sealed the chakra as well and can't receive any training at all i know let's change the subject what can you tell me about about this shinobi said kurenai as she looks at kakashi as he said as he close his book which is a surprise for kurenai which she take it as a sign that it's serious matter the unknown ninja who's using mysterious abilities that no one could do. No matter how much they try and I should know, I faced him before with squad of follow junins. The moment he started using their abilities, I pull out my sharingan to copy them but I couldn't and next thing I know, I see saw everyone getting killed by one as he moves like the wind as he cutting everyone down only to leaving me as the sole survivor and I couldn't move a muscle while everyone around me are killed, he could have ended me. He would have killed me right at the moment that he saw me but he didn't and i don't know why said kakashi as he wonders why this shinobi let him live but besides that there one other thing about this shinobi by observing his body size not only that he's young he's also seen to be the same age of our students but he holds far greater skills and experience like he had went the war and that's what scares me said kakashi as kurenai yes and so does everyone else in almost every village that this shinobi had raided or attacked for past few months but so far he hasn't attacked or raided our village yet said kurenai as she getting this uneasy feeling with kakashi nods in agreeing time skip an hour later at the hokage tower in the office of the hokage which there only one person who's an elderly man and he's working on signing paperwork after paperwork which mostly of them are info about the shinobi aka the most wanted rough every village and that mean bringing a lot of stress to ever cage just great other one this is the 40th one this week just who's this shinobi and why is he harming every ninja from different villages said the third as he trying figure out this unknown rouge in watch no one has ever seen his face or his real name just the nickname that he was given to but however there one thing he had noticed something on every deaths of every ninja some of them have links to one who fancy himself as a snake and others are undercover spies to a group of high-ranking rough ninjas and finally a few who serve a person who used to his rival in their days of youth. Yet so far, this shinobi only targeted their who were in leagues with Orochimaru, the Akatsuki or Danzo, what do he knows while the rest of us don't. Said the thoughts of the third Hokage as he stops what he was doing and look out in the room as he wonders where this shinobi could be at the moment. Then he lost his track of thought when he heard knocking on his door and waiting for his permission to enter. The third said, Enter, and it was his secretary cause she wanted to remember Serutobi that there a meeting with the council about the Chunin exams amount with other things, and the old man Hokage just knows that this just going to be other headache for him, so he told that he will be right there shortly as the secretary nods then goes. Meanwhile, and forest somewhere in the land of fire. In forest that's miles away from Konoha. 
The birds fly away because of loud rounds of gunfire as the shinobi who in the middle of area of all but one dead bodies which all of them are wearing metal places with a music note which means they all sound village called Origakir. As the shinboi is looking around with his hand cannon, the last word is it letting out steam from firing all the bullets it had in as he wearing a white abu mask that covers up his whole head as he set his seize onto the lone survivor who's on the ground with look of fear on him. Now then, tell me of what your village leader is planning to do in Konoha during the exams. Talk now or else you will found a bullet in your liver or maybe your eye, said the shinobi as he walks up to the lone sound ninja who's trying back away from him, Okami said the sound ninja who's sweating badly as the shinobi is now near him and has his weapon against where his liver is are you going to talk or dead with a bullet in your liver said shinobi who has his finger on the trigger and slowly adding pressure to it as the sound ninja decide to talk with what he knows all right i will talk l lord orochimaru plans to infiltrate during the chunin exams f for what i don't know all i know that it was for invasion with the help sanagakir and ease konoha off the map I swear if that's all I know, said the terrified sound ninja as the shinobi pull away his weapon. I see, and if I'm guessing right about Sanagakir, they join forces with your boss all because the daimyo is giving most of the missions to Konoha and so making them losing fundings because the short list of missions, well thanks for the info, said the shinobi as he places away his last word as the sound ninja sighs out of relief but however. The shinobi pull out a lightly larger weapon with a color scheme of green-blue, too which it has a fast loading then fires a concentrated of purple energy which leaves nothing behind of the sound ninja into ashes. Well I didn't say he was going to live, said he puts away his weapons which is a fusion rifle called Split Shfater Pro. So they planning to attack your old home during this exam, and if I checking the day correctly, every village aren't allow attack each other during exams, if you think about it, it's quite brilliant. No one would expect an attack during such an event, but then again, it thought up by a madman who see people nothing more than experiments," said Spectre, who appeared beside the shinobi. "Yup, as much I don't want to, but this a perfect chance to get that snake and maybe some other things as well," said Shinobi, who takes off his mask to show face, since there no old else around, and it's Naruto, and what's more, he looks much better than he was months ago since his revived. And not only that, his face looks more mature and his hair is longer than it was before, even though he's thinking about getting a haircut. Wait, you're thinking about infiltrating your old home village? Are you sure that's wise? said Spectre as Naruto nods to that. You know it, little light, said Naruto as he hears Spectre gones upon that, anyway. Inform me about what's happening on of the other world, said Naruto as he remembered that months ago he had Spectre to keep him up to date of what's going on with his follow guardians as well other things, first off, someone is taking take your throne after your death as the ruler of the hive and not only that it's seen that the taken are still pretty much still around even though you're gone, said Spectre as Naruto thinking about whose else is left that could take his place. Let's see, all my offsprings are dead, and my siblings are galaxies away then who could it be? said Naruto as he trying to remember. He kindly wished that he had a made a list of his chain of command. From what I could gather, the who trying to take your place is called Malak. Said Spectre as Naruto looks at him. Malak. Well then I let them handle him. Said Naruto as he put back his mask on. It's not our problem anyway let's head back we have much planning to do. Said Naruto as Spectre calls form the ship which it didn't take long to ranch them. Both disappeared into bits of light that reappeared in the ship as it fly away from there and toward their base of operation, home which its location in the abandoned village called Uzu Shiogakir because no one would found them there anyway. Time skip a few week later, Konoha two days before the exams started. Right now everyone around Konoha are getting preparations for the long-awaited Chunin exams which it was hold off because a few reasons, in the office of the Hokage. The third Hokage is checking the list of genins from different villages entering and it's a long one too which means it would be other long night for the old Hokage. I swear, it used to be so easy back I was younger, said Serutobi as he placed down the list and brought out his trusty pipe to smoke, as he tries to look for a lighter to light it but can't seem to found it and unknown to him, he's not alone in the room, as Serutobi keep looking until, looking for something? He heard a voice and felt something metal like place against his head, the third Hokage who once called the god of ninjas, who brought fear into his foes is at the mercy of the shinobi who's has a his handy hand cannon, the last word against the Hokage and he's ready to fire it. I never thought that a rouge with reputation as yours would come into a village in bright daylight, 
you must have great skill to come here without getting spotted by anyone in order to assassinate me or you're a fool that you could take me on because of my old age, well then young man, you have other thin, before Sarutobi could finish. That's when you're wrong about old man, said the shinobi who's has his voice deepened thanks to Spectre's help. I'm not here to assassinate you, rather I want you to get me in the exams without telling any of your subordinates and do this I will trade you some info about certain snake and what he's planning to do, said shinobi. Seru Tobi is a bit shocked about this and said, tell me why should I trust you, you have killed dozen of my subordinates and now you're here to gain passage to exam, and claim that you have informant about Orochimaru, pray why should I let you do this, what will you gain from all of this? said Serutobi as he want to know what reason does the shinobi want from this. The answer is really simple, it's vengeance for a kid I saved from the river, but however he was already dying from the amount of blood he had lost and that's before he fall, on his dying breath, he asked me a, a complete stranger to seek the one who betray him and end his life and right before he joins the afterlife, he give me the name of the who betray as well his. Sasuke Uchina is what I want and I'm doing so to honor the last wish doc one Naruto Uzumke, said the shinobi. Seru Tobi couldn't believe of what he's hearing, this most wanted rouge ninja with weapons that never seen before is doing this for Naruto who the old Hokage saw him as his grandson, but that one more thing to ask the shinobi, tell me shinobi, why does this for Naruto? What did he do to make you do this for him even though you just saved his already dying life? Said the third, shinobi say, he had said before he give his final wish to me, I'm something more than a just shadow, said Shinboi. A shadow? said in the thoughts of the hokage as shinobi say and that's also i'm going to say and also my name is not shinboi it's oryx no last name as i never knew my folks so tell me lord hokage do we have a deal or not said oryx as he waits for serutobi's answers then all right i will make the deal but all i say for is to leave dna samples of sasuke as much as i hate to admit it but we still need uchina and its bloodline said Serutobi as he hopes that Oryx agrees to this and not to destroy the remains of Sasuke even though he so much wanted to do himself. Alright but exchange for not turning the body of that arrogant Uchina into ashes, I want the first one and don't ask me why I wanted the offspring of that fool, said Oryx as Serutobi sighs. Alright, now tell me what you know about Okohimaru and his plans, said Serutobi as Oryx told him everything he knows. After that, Serutobi asked Oryx when he would killed Sasuke Uchina then told how many parts are they in the exams when he gets called out and shows himself, so the Hokage quickly explains that there are three parts but the third part of the exam have preliminaries then give the three months to train for the finals, Oryx said that he would show him in the finals and face off Sasuke and kill him off. Until then, I will be around, as he vanished from sight leaving the third Hokage by himself as he calls every Junin and Anbu there is for emergency meeting in order to inform them of what he has learned but because of that deal he can't reveal who give him the info. Time skip, the day of the finals of the Chunin exams. After three months of waiting, the final of the third of the Chunin exams is finally here and everyone around Konoha even from other villages, and right many people are placing bets of who will win the whole thing but all of them are betting on Sasuke Uchina since as he's the last Uchina. While everyone are heading to a stadium which is where the final will be hold, but no one even the Junins haven't noticed that there's someone atop of the face mountain of the Hokages, and it's Naruto who sighting on the head of 4th Hokage as he waiting for the hold to start, Spectre appeared next to Naruto. Naruto, I have been meaning to ask you something, why do you want the child of the one who betray you anyway? Said Spectre as Naruto looks to him as he gets feeling that he going to have answer a lot of questions later. Cuz I don't have anything against there who aren't involved and I know what you're thinking, this coming from the guy who wipe out the whole awoken fosses and other sniff. And besides I want to try again as a father to make up of what I did to my other children and do better this time. Said Naruto as Spectre gets it, understand after with many years of experience being a father after all. Said Spectre as Naruto remembers that he have to told his flowing companion. I forget to tell you, there was a time that I was a woman said naruto as he says it like it was nothing as specter looks at him what yelled specter as naruto just say what then two hours later naruto is now atop of the stadium at a spot that no one could see him and even though he's far above but he can see a line of contestants who ready to fight and who what they did in order to gain the rank of chunin naruto see familiar faces of shikamaru even though he has a look that say i rather watch the clouds in the sky than doing this Shino who seemed to be quite as always, Kiba along his truly canine companion Akamaru, 
and finally Hinata and Naruto could tell that his death was not set well with her, and their faces that he's not familiar with but he knows the one with short red hair with the sand gourd on his back, Gara of the Sand. And one last thing is that Sasuke isn't here yet which mean he must be training with Kakashi and that's not good if he shows up late. Oh that's just get, he will no doubt that he would be late like Kakashi. Said Naruto as he growls angrily as he hears that the first fight is about to start. Naruto along with everyone else saw how the first fight went which it was Kiba versus Shino and it was a fast one cause Shino had already had his insects on both Kiba and Akamaru and drain away the chakra who it wasn't much. Then the second match was Sasuke versus Gara, but since Sasuke isn't here so it get held back and move over to the third which it was Shikamaru up against a girl from the sand village named Tamari. To his surprise Naruto really thought that Shikamaru would give up on spot but however that wasn't the case cause him and everyone heard his mom and how she going to beat him with her frying pan of doom. So the fight was something to seen Shikamaru was able to hold his own against the sand girl until he had her trap with his shadow imitation justice and many had though that he would end her and win the fight however, he rise up his hand and said that he surrenders because he's very low on chakra as everyone are shocked to see specially the girl who he was against and his teammate. Then they move up the next fight which it was Hyuga against Hyuga, and everyone are wanted to see the outcome of this match since both of them are cousins, and amount the audience as the head clan leader of the Hyuga is watching and to next to him is his younger daughter Hanabi, both of them wait to see of what's going to happen as Hiyashi is worried about his older daughter ever since her change which it was case by the death of Naruto, he doesn't know how far cold Hinata had become. And Naruto himself. He wanted to show himself to her cause he wants to help Hinata be who she to be and he can't but then there's something he can do he calls Spectre for something as he looks a paper and a pencil, just not yet as the ref starts the match between cousin, and there who thought that it was going to be the one named Neji is going to win since he's a prodigy of the Hyuga and this would be an easy match for him right? Wrong, because Hinata had strike first even before Neji could talk and all his fate crap. Everyone see just how fierce Hinata's attacks are and she's not letting her cousin to counter attack as she continues her assaults. In the audience a girl with blonde hair with a long ponytail whose name is Eno and she remembers back at the preliminaries, during that time and one of theirs matches, Hinata was up against Sakura but it didn't end very well for the pink haired because what Hinata did with Sakura when she was done with was something that the pin haired girl had with live for the rest of her rest. And what Hinata did to Sakura? hitting a certain part of Sakura's body, which that part happens to be where Sakura reproduce offsprings for her in the future but that isn't going to happen because upon damaging it beyond every medic skills, not even the greatest medic could heal it which means Hinata had take away Sakura's ability to have children, but deep down everyone know that Sakura had deserve it because she had a part of Naruto's death after all. Back with the match with Neji gets throw off by a palm strike to the chest as it case him get off his foot as his body is covering in spot like bruises and he's not moving because he had taken too many hits by Hinata who doesn't seem to care that she had won since all she wants is to face the Uchina and make him pay for what he did. As Naruto had send Spectre to drop something then waits further longer as the ref calls for Gara and Sasuke to the show up so they can begin fight that everyone is waiting and good thing too as a small pile of leaves begin spinning around then Sasuke with Kakashi behind him finally arriving as Kakashi asked the ref if they late, meanwhile with the cages who are watching this but however the third Hokage stands up which confusing his guest the case cage as he wonders of what he's doing. As the third jumps down which surprised everyone even Kakashi as Serutobi specks out loud so everyone could hear him, everyone listen, I'm afraid the fight between Gara and Sasuke isn't going to happen, why you ask, because I had made a deal with someone for exchange for very important formation and the piece I had pay for, yelled the third as everyone are wondering of what it's going on as Naruto who's ready to show himself. The piece was, the piece of Sasuke Uchina's life yelled again by the third as everyone are gasp at this as Sasuke goes up to him, why on earth trade my life for some worthless info? And who's the pathetic fool made it anyway? said Sasuke as he wonders why he Uchina had to give him away his life for something as informant anyway. The Hokage has no right do that, you wanted to know who made the deal? Well why don't you show yourself Oryx? I know that you are here, said Sortobi as everyone are wonder who's this, Oryx, person is. Then everyone heard a laughter echoes around then someone jumps off from very top of the stadium and lands onto the ground nearing the third Hokage. I have to say old man, you have some guts to tell everyone about our deal but it doesn't matter, 
I'm here to end this fool's life for what he did and what he will do the future all because that mark he has on his neck. Said Oryx as his is deepened again then brought out his weapon the last world and have it aim at Sasuke's head and was going to Kakashi to protect Sasuke even though he doesn't want to but he has to but however. Kakashi stand down, this is mean to be, he has to pay for what he had done, he throw his teammate into the river after using him a human shield and that is something I would not stand for, and I don't care if he's the last Uchina. At last as we have his DNA, said Sarutobi as Kakashi signs and backs away and let this happen. Everyone couldn't believe this is happening as Sasuke locks his jaw tight in angry then calms down, no matter, cause you're going to fall by the heads of Uchina. Elite. There no way that you could beat me when I'm your superior in every way in fact when I beat you, I am going to take that weapon of yours and used it to kill my older brother. Said Sasuke who's being so arrogant like that he already won this fight. Then he hears Oryx starts laughing again, so that's it right? Your last words? His voice is no longer sound deep and started to sound very familiar, a like voice of someone they know very well, someone who's supposed to be dead, cause I have to say, that's the most pathetic last words that I ever had heard and I heard more heroic than that, and you know what? I never noticed how arrogant you really were, I wanted to be your friend, and I would have been, if I hadn't died. Said Oryx as Sasuke is for some reason is sweating like bullets because it's like he's hearing a ghost form the past that come back to hunt him. As everyone are wondering on what he's talking but there are few are getting but they couldn't believe and one of them is, no way you can't really that he's back from the dead. Said Shikamaru as he gets of what Oryx is saying and he's shocked as hell he even can be then drops his head down then let he sign out. You are truly are troublesome. Said Shikmaru as everyone at a loss while Hinata is directly looking at Oryx just Shikmaru she knows of what he's saying as she has tears on her eyes, I is it are really you under that mask? said Hinata as tears begin fall down. Then everyone heard Sasuke screams in angry, there's no way that you were him. It can't be. I saw him fall into the river, I should know I throw him myself after I was done using him as my shield. He should be dead. That no good dead last. Said Sasuke as he recalling on that day from a year ago as Oryx say. Oh Sasuke. Sasuke you don't know how right you are, I did died on that day but I'm not the same as I was before said Oryx as he ranching to his mask as Kakashi and Serutobi couldn't believe it from what they heading. Upon removing his mask and show who he really is then drops it on the ground, because when I died, I was reborn into something else but I won't go into details since it's a long story, how about I just show you? said Naruto as he does a hand seal sequence that ends with the hand sign for ascension, as he say with his voice changing, vestige release. Awakening of the Taken King, said Naruto. Destiny soundtrack plays. Regicide as white glyph suddenly appears at his feet and is then encased in a very large soul crystal that rose from the ground. No one can see inside it due to how dark it is, but everyone gets an idea of the crystal's contents when a white outline of a figure with three glowing eyes appears inside. The crystal then rises into the air and begins to rotate. The rotation speed picks up until cracks start to form in the crystal. Eventually, when the crystal develops enough cracks, it explodes and sends fragments everywhere complete with a bright, blinding light. When the light fades away, the people in the stadium are greeted with a wall of darkness. They were confused about this, but it was short-lived. After 10 seconds had passed, the wall of darkness began to flow to a single point, revealing a being no one has ever seen before floating in the air. And the presence that he's giving off of that of a king, as Naruto looks at his now three-fingered hand then turn it into a fist then looks at Sasuke. This Sasuke is what I had become, and I should show my wrath. Said Naruto as Sasuke think that he have pissed in his pants but it shakes it off and gets ready to face him by getting his clan's tie justice style. Oh? You really think that you beat could me? Very well then why not I give you the first and do make it count Sasuke? Said Naruto as he looking at Sasuke with his three eyes. As Sasuke himself has a smirk on his face as he jumps and land on the high wall as he move his arm in front of him then starts forming chakra into his left hand as it set off a spark then finally a stream of lighting as Sasuke's eyes turn which it's his clan's bloodline, the Sharingan, as the lighting on his hand is making a sound that of birds as Sasuke's smirk gets bigger as he say. I was going to against Gara, but you will do much better and you're going to regret this you monster yelled Sasuke as he runs down after moving his arm to the side as he moving at high speed toward Naruto who in fact isn't impressed as Sasuke is getting closer and closer by the sec. 
As everyone watching this and joining them late is Sakura who's still recovering from her fight against Hinata and she just in time to witness this as well hearing. Crack. A loud cracking noise followed by a scream of pain and it's not from Naruto, it's Sasuke whose left arm is odd angle which a arm should able to and it was caused by Naruto who grabbed Sasuke's arm at the right time and bands it like it was nothing and still holding Sasuke's arm as he say while hearing certain girl with pink hair screams out Sasuke's name. T that's I impossible. You shouldn't able do this. Let alone grab my arm. Said Sasuke as Naruto who once again laughs. Oh Sasuke. Sweet naive Sasuke, you have no idea what I went though after my death in this world. Said Naruto as he smacks Sasuke's face by backhand him with great force of strength that's far beyond any that's human. And Sasuke is slams into the wall as he puck out his blood from his mouth and before he could recover as well remove himself from the wall. Sasuke gets hit by a blot of blight coming from Naruto's hand and he's not stopping until he had fried 20 of them as Sasuke falls from the wall and hits the ground as he covering burn marks on his body. As fun it can be, I'm going to end this now. Said Naruto as he vanished from sight. And many had thought that he run away as Sasuke gets up as he say as he goans in pain. Finally realize that you can't really kill me huh Naruto, and before he could finish with a laugh. Then he notice a giant shadow of a hand rising up and covering the sun. Sasuke turned to see the three-fingered hand grabs onto the wall of the stadium as Naruto shows himself and see that he had gotten even bigger as he looked down onto Sasuke. I did say that I am going to end this, said Naruto as he grabs Sasuke easily since he's too hunt to move and put him very close to his face then by using two his fingers and grab Sasuke's head. W what are you doing? No I can't die, not like this. I haven't killed Itachi for killing my whole clan. Said the panicked Sasuke who doesn't want to die right now. Well you haven't have thought that when you had me kill by throwing me into the river. Said the angry Naruto as he generates pure energy and sends it into Sasuke's head which his head is getting bigger as well swollen as Sasuke begging Naruto to stop this but it was too late as Sasuke's eyes is the first to explode and follow by his head. Now the deed is done. Sasuke Uchina. The one of the two remaining members of the Uchina clan is dead. A well deserved one for betraying and killing his teammate, and everyone stood quite as they lost for words as they thought that Sasuke was going to beat Naruto. Naruto still holds the remaining of Sasuke in his hand, and he could crush it right there and then, but he has a deal to honor, so he plays the body toward at the feet of the third Hokage, then he vanish again, and this time everyone wonder where did he go, but that didn't last long as they heard other person cried in pain, which had come from the cage booth. Everyone turned to see Naruto who back to normal and has a kanai stabbing right thaga the case cages stomach and thought that he's must have gone insane but however, why don't you show your true you snake? Said Naruto as he push his kanai deeper into the case cage, ranch out to his hand and torn it off to show his true which it was no other than Orochimaru and he's very angry, I didn't expect to this angry towards someone who's supposed to be dead. Said the angry Orochimaru. Try say that again. Bang. When you're dead on the ground, said Naruto as he had fired his last word but however the snake had used a mud clone to take his place, damn it he get away, must likely to retreat to his snake den, better go now before we lose the trail, said Naruto as he about to call forth his ship but however. Hold it right there Naruto, you're not going anyway and answer some questions, said the third Hokage who appeared behind Naruto along with a few Anbu and they happened to surrounding Naruto so he can't get away. As must I want to but I can't the snake is getting away since his key part of his invasion to start is no more. Said Naruto as he heard Spectre who come back and said that Naruto only hears in his mind that he had called the ship and it will be arriving within three minutes. For that I thank but that doesn't mean I would let you go, now answer me Naruto Uzumke, why hide yourself and how were you able to survive from such a fate? And why didn't you come back until now? Said Serutobi as he wants answers from Naruto. As Naruto only give this as an answer, who said I survive? I'm did died on that day and if you thinking I would just take come here and become one of your ninjas after taking the life of the who who take mine, think again because I'm no longer the same boy you saw who wanted to be Hokage one day, said Naruto as his jump ship arrives above him which is surprising everyone around. And before he leaves, he said one more thing before disappearing into bits of light, they're a much greater call than becoming Hokage and until we meet again. Farewell old man. Then he disappears into bits of light as the ship fly off into the sky within a few secs as Hokage has nothing but questions within his mind then says, 
I'm getting too old for this shit, as Anbu's went to calm everyone down. Naruto miles away in his ship Naruto feels very exhausted and what cause it? Well changing into his hive body takes lot out on his human, damn it, my body still isn't used going though with it. Said Naruto as he feels very tried, well next time listen to my warming when you're going to do that again, just until your body is finally used to it. Said Spectre as he appears. Yeah, yeah I get it, don't use it for the time being, anyway did you leave the letter where I told you? Said Naruto as he sees Spectre nods. Yes I did. I left it in the room and on the girl's bed, and if you don't mind me asking, what did you write on that letter? Said Spectre as he wonders about it but Naruto doesn't answers him as he look out the window and looking at the moving clouds that the ship is flying though. Back with Konoha, near sunset at the Hyuga household. Hanada who just arrive home and just walk in her room after the events of the exams which they ended. Hanada couldn't believe that Naruto is alive and that couldn't make her happily as she about to take off her clothes but stops when she notice a ladder that's folded in half as it laying on her bed and she wonders where it come from, she walks up to her bed and unfold it so she could read of what it says. Months had passed since the events of Chunin exams, as for everyone in Konoha founding out that one Naruto Uzumke is alive but he's no longer the same boy they used to know and not only that he's now very powerfully with abilities which the likes has never seen before. And where is he right now? The answer is rather simple. He's at his home base in the ruined village of Uzushiogakure and it has technology that no from this world is it being used to maintain many things like checking the ship to see if it's working right as well surveillance in case of intruders. And a training area for Naruto for when he's doing some target practice which that's what he's doing as he firing against some dummies, so let me get this straight, you knew right away that Malak's rule wasn't going to last long even though he's one of your oldest member of your taken forces, am I correct? Said Spectre as he hovering over Naruto's shoulder as Naruto who's not wearing his gear as he using both the first curse and last word, that's about it, he never had what it takes lead my force but let's leave it at that. Said Naruto as he dual wielding his guns as he firing more the dummies more. So in way you know that the other guardians could handle it, but there one thing that I'm worried about, said Spectre as Naruto knows what he's talking, you mean the strange energy readings somewhere in earth? That does have me worried but I'm sure they could handle it since after all they did kill me twice, said Naruto as he fires his last round toward the dummies which it's covering in bullets. Well enough of worrying about the problems of other side, let's just worried about what we should next since well I'm pretty much the most wanted in the fire country, said Naruto as he looking at the least bingo book that just come out not that long ago and found a page about him. Wall aren't you Mr. Popular, I bet you love all that much of attention, said Spectre as Naruto say back. Yeah let's go with that but most toward the land of fire cause Konoha wanted me alive, as he puts away his hand cannons. Spectre looks at him, say ain't you last bit worried that, they would found out that we in this place? Said Spectre as it sounds a bit worried about being found in they base, home, no cause this place that nobody wouldn't dare think twice of coming here said Naruto as he get his gear on, right I forget we surrounded by one thousands upon one thousands of whirlpools of death that would destroy any boats before it ranch this place, said Spectre as Naruto, that's about right, anyway come on we have things to do, said Naruto he walks over to his ship, where are we heading this time, other village where it's holding their own exam and you're going to ruin it like last one, said Spectre as he making a joke as Naruto does his fake laugh, very funny Spectre and no we not as we going to the land of water about a certain village that going the war for far too long, said Naruto as Spectre, great just what we need. Getting our involved with a war, a civil war mind you, and next thing I know we going to overthrow a tyrant from country that's out in the sea as the land is covering in snow and ice said Spectre as he and Naruto get in ships as the engines starts thrusting in order to get the ship into the air. As Naruto say to Spectre, who knows, that might happen, as they fly off into the ship and heading toward the land of water. Meanwhile at Konoha, in the meeting room right now at Konoha, there are meeting going on at this moment and what is it about? Why can't we found this no good brat, he has to pay for the crimes he had committed. Yelled one of the members of the civilian council as the ninja council are feeling very annoyed by it as the old Hokage sighs while rubbing his head in order to stop the upcoming headache as we would like to found him but no one haven't able to like he had disappeared not even my clan's best trackers could found a scent, said a woman with wild brown spiky hair with red fangs on her cheeks as she wearing the standard Junin uniform. You heard Sume, 
there no way found Naruto or where he could be found. And some had tried tracked it on ground but once that flying machine go in the clouds it becomes impossible to found it again. Said the third Hokage as he feels that he's too old for this and just someone to take his place and be done with it. Oh why fourth Hokage had to pass away so soon, regardless there no way found him as we no idea where to look. Said the third as all members of the council of both sides are getting frustrated. That until, let's look you people are having a hard to found a kid who thought was dead said a voice as everyone turned to see a man with long white spiky wearing green short shirt kimono and matching pants and handguards a black belt traditional japanese wooden sandals and a red haori with two yellow circles on each side and a large scroll on his head and finally he has a horned forehead protector with you and who is he he is jiraiya who is one of third hokage's students as well as one of the three sanins jiraiya what are you doing here said the third hokage as he looking toward his one of his old students First at all, I heard what happened during the exams so I come here right away and I will take over of searching for Naruto. Said Jiraiya as few members of the council are thinking that he might kill the demon child for good, but however, why should I let you take over Jiraiya? Said the third as he wants to his students reasons for this. For personal reasons that I can't say here. Said Jiraiya as everyone but the old Hokage wonder what he means by personal. Time skip. A day later, somewhere at the land of water. Naruto is walking though a swamp with heavy mist around everything which making it hard to see and that's why Naruid has a hand cannon in hand just in case someone were to ambush him. As Naruto is hearing Spectre talking about what he knows about the land of water's history as well about the civil war that going on in Kirigakure for years now, I see, so in order to end it, I have to take out the current Mizukage, doesn't sound too hard, said thoughts of Naruto as Spectre. But how are you going to pass though the security? Say as Naruto sighs about that. Only way I know how, shoot everyone that gets in my way in a blaze of glory, isn't that how the other guardians do it? Said Naruto as he talking to Spectre in his head though a link, not all the time that's for sure, after all you're going to enter a village's full of ninjas armed to the teeth and would take anyone once they get their eyes. Said Spectre and just when Naruto heard, sight, and stops walking. Well how about they see more than one of me? said naruto as specter is bit confused about that as it appeared in front of naruto i'm afraid to asking but what are you going to do said specter as naruto goes something to change his current subclass to other my dear specter won't you like to know said naruto as he switches of his subclass which to his void subclass aka shadow collar and before we go to the village i need do some practice on this class of mine said naruto as he walks away to somewhere more secure with specter follows behind but what they don't know that they being followed by a group wearing masks with root on them hiding in the shadows as they moving quietly so they won't be detected by naruto or his little flowing friend but what they don't know that naruto already knows about them because of his radar that had spotted them some time ago and what they don't know that they unknowing becoming his new training dummies and within 15 minutes everything went silent as birds had fly away in a haste like they're scared by something at konoha three days later at the Hokage Tower in the office of the Hokage and stand in front of the old cage is a team mix of fighters and trackers which they are Shino and Hinata from Team 8 and a boy wearing a green spandex and a blow hairstyle and very thick eyebrows along a boy who has the same eyes as Hinata and he's her cousin. Beside them are two Junins which one of them happens to look like the other guy with blow hairstyle thick eyebrows but older. And a woman with red eyes with long black as she wearing red mesh armor blouse with only the right sleeve visible and broad material which resembles bandages. Now then, I had gather you all here for this mission of great importance, you must track down Naruto and bring him back here for questioning among other things in order to mystery of his powers as well how he was able to return back to life, said the third Hokage as everyone nods as they in understand but however the only female Junin concern look on her. Your mission starts tomorrow and use this time to prepare of what you will need on this mission, said the old cage as everyone let out a quick, yes sir, and walk out of the room thus leaving only Hiruzen by himself as he gets off his chair and look out the room toward the blue sky as he wonders what Naruto is doing at very moment. At the land of water, Hiragakure at the village surrounded with heavy misted as battle damaged buildings, Everyone are in high alerts cause one person or rather army of them covering in some kind of purple like energy with dark spiral center and each of them are wielding a sword made of same energy and they taking down every kiri ninju that comes near them. In the shadows, Naruto who's watching this with a proud smirk on him. I have to see shadow collar clone is far more useful than my old clone, 
said Naruto as he has the massive blade Kerbokurbocho on his back. Indeed unlike the shadow clone that you used to use, they can hold 10 times longer and when they get hit, they become a sphere of void energy that would destroy anything in its ranch, said Spectre as one of the shadow collar clones stabbed by Akiri Anbu and his sword in hand, it becomes a sphere like Spectre said and destroying everything around it like the Kiri Anbu's weapon and arm along with it. Enough talk we need to go to the that tower, said Naruto as he looked toward the tower of the Mizukage which the fourth Mizukage Yagura is in, yes in order to end this Sylvie war once and for all then moving on to the next one of your list, said Spectre as it vanishes in bits of light and Naruto head toward there without anyone noticing him at all. At Mizukage Tower Naruto was able to enter the building easy since every available ninja of every rank have their hands full with his shadow collar clones as Naruto walking down the hallway as he heading toward the office of the Mizukage as Naruto remembers why he's doing this. Years ago, one Yagura the fourth Mizukage had started a purge in order wipe out anyone who has a bloodline which it leads everyone in Kirigakir to kill their friends, family, neighbors, classmates and more until it become a clivy war and torn the village in half. And to a follow Jinchuriki no less, but there's something telling me there's someone involved with all of this but for now I have to end this war by killing Yagura the fourth Mizukage, said the thoughts of Naruto as he ranched the office doors of the Mizukage, upon grabbing the hander of Kurbakurbocho and without a sec to think, Naruto busted down the doors thus surprising Yagura who had turned away from the window from the moment he heard the door forced open. Hello there and I'm guessing you're the fourth Mizukage? aka Yagura Jinchuriki of the Three Tail Beast, cause I have something tell you, Naruto stops so he could hear of what Yagura going to say about this which it might be his last ones, and pray tell of what you're going to say. Said Yagura as he about to grab his personal weapon of chose a staff like pole weapon with uneven sized hooks with a green flower on the larger end, Naruto see of what he's doing but he's not going to let as he calls forth a shadowy left arm made out of blight energy and slams onto Yagura and hold him against the wall. Oh nothing just this, your reign of terror on this village with your blind hatred toward their who have bloodlines ends today and taking your will be this weapon from a former and late member of Seven Swordsmen of the Mist, Kerbakurbocho. Say Naruto as he walking closer to Yagura as he gets the massive sword off his back and is ready for killing blow with it as Yagura tries to get free as well calling for the chakra of the three tails yet nothing happening and he wonders why isn't appearing, don't bother, no one is going to save you, nope of your subordinates not the tail that's sealed within you, this is, Naruto's voice begins to change, the end for you. For everything you had done, to every innocent souls you wipe off because your hatred and fear, face judgment, in that very moment Naruto stroke down Yagura with Kerbakurbocho and slice the now late fourth Mizukage had died and Kirigakure is free from him. The end. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video.